Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to see how to make over this $1 thrifted end table that I got five years back. It's a little bit old, so I wanted to make it look a little bit fresh. So I started off with a 220 grit sandpaper. I did not want to sand it down to the bare wood. Just wanted to smoothen it up and also take off that shiny top coat. So I sanded all the way on the sides, all the base, wherever I'll be painting. But I wanted to leave the top a little bit darker so the stain would sit better. So this is what it looks like after the sanding was complete. I applied a little pressure where I thought it was a little bumpy. For the top, I wanted this two-tone look, so I went with Rust-Oleum Wood Stain American Walnut. So I took it in some foam plate and used a foam brush to apply it just to the top. But once I applied, I saw that the stain actually is very dark. I'm not sure it's because of the darkness of the top surface already, but it was very dark compared to what I was looking for. So, uh, you will see it covers those lighter areas with just one touch as well. So I had to make some changes. But when you apply the stain, make sure you always keep a wet edge. Do not go over it repeatedly. And this is how it looks like. Here you can see I'm using the corner of my foam brush to apply the stain to all the nooks and crannies. I have one tip is if you apply stain at one place a little too much, use a small fresh new brush to just wipe it down and smoothen it up. To add the second coat, I used a lighter shade called Golden Oak because I wanted that two-tone look. So this is what it looks like after adding that second coat. It's still better than having a very dark top surface. So I'm a little bit happier with this, but it looked even better after the third coat was applied. For my base, what I wanted to do till the top coat dries, I wanted to tape down the edge so that I can start with the legs and the base. Before I start with my base, I wanted to seal the top first so I used that polycrylic I used a steel wool just to smoothen it up a little bit before I apply the top coat now when I did that you see it kind of accumulated beside all the bumps so I used this stencil that I got from Amazon to cover it up this is my first time using a stencil so it was not perfect but at least it covers up that part of it which I'm happy about so I decided to use the top coat on top of the stencil uh, to seal the stencil as well as the entire top surface using the polycrylic from Minwax um, this is in glossy because I wanted a little bit shine to it so as you can see you always have to keep a wet edge what I have learned from this project is do not go back to the same area once you have painted it. If you make a mistake, let it dry. Just buff it up a little bit with a steel wool, otherwise you're going to mess the whole thing up. Once I set it to dry, I went ahead and did the first coat of the chalk paint using the Waverly chalk paint. I don't have the footage for that, I lost it. So this is what it looks like after the first coat. You would want your first coat to be very thick because you are painting on a darker wood. So I had a little bit thicker first coat and you can see because of, I put the tape, it did not cover up anything. One tip I have is Cover these tiny gaps in your first coat of paint by probably taking more paint in your brush and just dabbing them. Here I'm using an, a small paintbrush to cover them up. I wanted to try this paint out so I'm using that in my third coat of paint which is in white but Waverly works just fine. So I'm applying this with the paintbrush that I got from Walmart specifically for chalk paints. 
so I'm applying that all over just like I did on the Waverly and one thing I want to remind you is the higher you go in the codes the runnier the codes need to be because you're not looking for coverage you're looking for finish and you have to use this especially towards the end you have to make sure you go with the green this is a very thick brush it helps you push the paint into your item because my stencil is not perfect I decided to distress it slightly at the edges with a 220 grit sandpaper that I previously used and then seal it off with two coats of polycrylic um, as I was doing the top so the top took three coats and the sides I put two coats so this is what it looks like and I'm very happy with the way it turned out I hope you like it too thank you for watching